welcome to the another video for building a react application uh, we are using a, a spring boot we are using a spring boot to build our apis so so far we have a list of the apis and if we go to the edit we could able to edit and pretty much we could also able to add the data so so far when we edit it will give you an error because the date is not in correct format so let's change this gate to date to correct format so i am in this edit component here so the only things need to change is the format right here so our calendar class in a spring boot doesn't take this uh, date format so we need to change this to correct format and to do that uh, we need to uh, use there are different ways to up to format the date in javascript but uh, there is one way is to to use a i to iso string and if we print this then it will give us oh you know, this is a function so if i print this it will give us this uh, iso uh, formatted date and we need we can split this by uh, t and we can get the first uh, hold on oh yeah we can split by the t and we need to use the parentheses here and we can get the first index of the t and which will give us this date and as you know now we can see this date in correct format and we can able to submit and it will update as well but it doesn't go in a front page so we will have to fix that as well so we need to go we are i already uh, upload uh, put the width router uh function inside this edit component so we could able to use the, the props.history functions after it's updated so we, we will do the x not x props props.history dot push now we can push the data we can push the uh, router here uh, and now it will go to the front page so if i change this to something else then it's changed here if i change to e then it changed to e all right so now we could able to edit perfectly good now even in date has been changed here put it to 1991 so I submit it will change to 1991 okay so this so far this is pretty good so I'll do 1000 nice okay so so far edit is working perfectly fine so let's back to the home page and we will make the delete functionalities okay there are a lot of ways to do a delete but uh, what we wrote in our spring boot i'm just gonna show you guys we wrote this uh we will get the uh, customer we'll get the id and once we get the id the customer will be removed so we can make like delete button here and you remove uh, every time when delete been clicked or we could we could do something like we could create a delete button here and we use this checkbox so we checkbox everything and we just click delete and it will delete all the data so to do that uh, we're gonna do that so to do that we need to do a lot couple of stuff here not a lot but a couple of stuff uh, so first of all uh, let's create with a react and we also need to change something on our uh, api's all right so the first thing uh, let's go to the customer and let's create here the one button we need a delete button so this will delete a multiple record that's what we want uh, that's our goal is so I, I will say it's a delete customer and I will tell that this is a danger so we can get the right color there and okay pretty much this is uh, perfectly fine now the only things what we need to do is we need to create a event here the event is going to be on click so when this has been clicked then what we want is we want to call this some event so we will say delete customer by IDs but we don't have this so we're going to create this okay we have this one now now we need to create here we need to get the ids first so let's get the id so we will get the id from our state so state will keep track of the which has been selected or not so we can create a new array here uh, this is going to be the uh, id array id it's going to be the arrays of the id now we're going to loop the the state uh, using the cost uh, it's a state 
customer and we will use a for each here so in the for each we will get the d uh, as a data and on this data uh, on array ids we will push d uh, d dot id we just need the id and before we push uh, we also need to validate that our data uh, state is selected is select is true if it's true uh, then we will update it so i just put it there so now we will get our new array which is an array id here so once we get the array id i'm just going to show you how it looks like so console.log we just need a uh, arrays of the id to delete because we want to delete a multiple record or we could also delete only one record it really depends on how it's selected so i select this guy i just say delete and it will give me the list of these ids if i uncheck and if i check only one then it will give me the only one okay so on on the bottom here we need to call the uh api axios okay so we don't want this uh so here i'm going to remove this and i don't want this as well i just want to see the console log okay so i will stop here for a moment and i'm going to say that uh, we have already created our uh, delete by id functions and spring boot so what we can do is we can loop this all the array and we can call these apis one by one we could do that too but it's not a proper way i think to delete the apis which is send the bunch of the ids and after when we spring boot will get the ids spring boot will delete it and give the response in one request instead of doing a multiple request so we're gonna do the one request to delete a multiple record okay so we will send here uh delete just gonna be delete i haven't created this uh, yet so i will create it so it's gonna be delete the multiple customers and i'm gonna send here ids id is gonna be the array of the ids uh, i'll just make this as a string interpolation using a java 6 uh, not the javascript uh, es6 syntax so okay so now i have an array id i'm gonna send the array id to delete or well, i don't have this uh, method here I don't know, I mean it is API so I need to create this API so let's get back to spring boot so now I'm, now I'm in spring boot so basically I need to copy exactly the same thing which is the delete one just need to change couple of things I need a customer so this is gonna be the array of the customer so array IDs so match is gonna be delete and it's deleted by IDs not ID uh, we can give any name here so part variable gonna be uh, it's, it's, it will give me the IDs just make the consistent so make these ids ids everything's id so we will get this the id but this id is going to be list of the string all right instead of the string it will give me the list of the string and once i get the list of the string then in in the in this ids i will get the array so on this array we will get the list so we can now loop this guy so we can loop this guy which is this is going to be id so so once this id is looped we will we have to check that this is exist or not this id of course this will be there always but uh, it's valid it's a it's a better to check so customer service dot exist by id so we will check as a id here and if it's exist by id is true this will give me the boolean value so let's give this a boolean value here so if it's true then we're going to remove the customer delete by id functions right here and we will pass the d all right so we're going to remove this and let me see what's error is here oh i can use this here so i can use this here okay exist by id is a problem here uh, exist by id let me see what the issue is here Oh, it takes an integer instead of a string so i have to change this to integer that parse to d as a string so now everything is good and yeah if it's been everything is good if it's, this will do the uh, everything the delete it will delete the uh, most of it thing and i'll just say instead of here customer has been removed all right our this method has been created so let's test this method so we'll get back to the here and this everything is good everything is perfectly fine so now let's when i click this guy and if i delete then customer has been removed this customer is removed already if i refresh this page then it will be 21. so the only things left is we need to 
uh, load this data again. So to do that, we will call this get customer again after we remove the data. Okay, so this will load our all the data. So now if we check here and if I select everything and delete, it will remove everything from database. Nothing is exist on database. But if I add some data now, then it's, it's going to give you the data. Okay, I think that's the end of this all um, crowd based building of React applications using the Spring Boot. And the one thing we could do is we could also use a validations on here. And instead of this, we could use a calendar drop down instead of this. Uh, literally, we have to literally write it down here, but we can use a calendar drop down here. And we could use the calendar drop down from jQuery. So we can pick the jQuery and I think this is going to be the end of this video building the react applications It's a simple crowd applications. I hope you guys learn from this tutorials and thank you very much for watching